Right, my name is uh, Bruno Ping. I work for uh, the Royal Surrey County Hospital in Guildford, UK, and I work as a senior biomedical scientist. My personal interest lies in uh, oncology and everything that's related to oncology, uh, especially uh, breast cancer in this case, uh, that's the presentation I'm going to be doing today. In breast cancer research, uh, one of the most important components uh, for treatment is to look at copy number variation. HER2 uh, is a very important protein in, in, uh, in breast cancer uh, and uh, we use the, the information from, from HER2 to, to understand if we, give, if we can give patients uh, certain drugs or not. With HER2, understanding if it's positive or negative can be sometimes complex. Traditional techniques rely on uh, in situ arbitization to look at the copy number variation. Those techniques are normally expensive. They're, uh, very time consuming and, and they're subject to uh, a lot of uh, variation both in terms of, of tissue and, and in terms of uh, the person that's looking at, uh, at, the, at the slides. Uh, digital PCR changes that. Uh, first it gives us uh, an opportunity to look at all these things uh, at a lower price point so it's cheaper for us as researchers. Second there's less inter uh, variability or inter-individual variability because it's a machine looking at, uh, at the raw uh, data instead of, of being a person doing that, so there's less variability. We have uh, three regions when we're assessing, uh, at the moment we have a negative region, very easy to look at on the side, you have a positive region uh, or range that is very easy to assess on the side as well, and you got equivocal, uh, and they're slightly more, co more complex. With digital PCR, we started to get a better glimpse of what really is going on in terms of copy number variation. I don't think we had that, that, that understanding if we were just looking at inside hybridization and looking at things like uh, gene deletions, which we won't be able to see uh, very well. What we've learned from, from this project and this collaboration with Life Technologies is that uh, digital PCI is a much more sensitive technique than, than our current inside hybridization methods. So these three components, negative, equivocal, uh, and positive can be much more uh, fine-tuned for, for our benefit. We want to take our research from a research component and be able to apply it in the future uh, through more study, through more validation to a diagnostics component. And that's going to help us at least to have uh, much more uh, cost savings and uh, we can use that, the, those cost savings to buy other, other, other instruments like the, the IMPGM which we are very interested in.